Me back again. Mm-hmm. So I got my woolly hat on today. So you know what I mean, Russ Clark. Business. Now nah, I got my woolly hat on because um feeling a bit rough still. Woke up in the morning and what well, I felt like I had the flu. Definitely coming down with something. Ain't got no flu like symptoms yet, but it's only day one. But the show must go on. Um but yeah, start off with a joke. But it's a very fucking serious video I'm about to react to. So I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Women are not safe on their own. The other day, I was outside late night, like 11 or 12, just quickly went outside to lock my car door and make sure it's locked. And I see some small, tiny woman. Like, she was like five foot two. I think she might have been Indian. It was so dark outside, she had a hood on her head and she was just walking in the road. Then I'm thinking, why is a tiny little woman like this? Just walk in the streets on her own alone, like. All right, she done the smart thing, which was be on the phone to someone. So, like, me and women watching this right now, if you ever catch yourself out on the streets on your own, and it's late night and it's dark, and even if it's not late night, if it's dark, always be on the phone to someone. Talk to your mom, talk to your sister. If you've got a boyfriend, talk to your boyfriend. Talk to one of them man there in your friend zone, innit? Talk to someone. And if you feel like someone is acting dodgy around you, make sure you say to the person on the phone, where are you? Where are you? I can't see you or whatever, innit, yeah? Make the person that you believe might be dodgy, make them think that there's someone around the corner. Like, yeah, I'm just around the corner, innit? Yeah, I'll see you in 10 seconds or something, innit, yeah? Make it seem like, you know what I'm saying, someone's around the corner and that, because there's a certain man right now just moving nuts, innit? Um, yesterday, Friday, I'm driving my car, and I thought about this a few times, and I was thinking to myself, the job that I do, being an electrician, going into people's yards and that, if a very attractive woman was to do my job, they'll be in fucking danger, you know? Like, it's all well and good. Like, obviously, I mean, in the history of the world, there must have been some work person doesn't even have to be a trades person. It could be a fucking surveyor that is... What am I fucking talking about? Some woman told me, one of the tenants told me that one of the fucking plumbers or something tried to put his hand up her top. But to be fair, I think she led him on, innit? Because yeah, the way she was talking. But So in the history of the world, there must have been some work person, surveyor or trades person in some woman's house that has physically tried to make a move on her. Not try to flirt with her or say, oh, yeah, yeah, let me chat to you afterwards. No. Physically try to make a move on her, ain't it? Yeah. And that's a professional person, so supposedly professional person, inside the tenant's house. Imagine, yeah, it's a tenant that's not right in his head. Imagine, not just an okay girl, imagine, yeah, whatever girl that you know that you think is a straight up 10. Imagine, yeah, a girl like Megan Fox, who is an electrician or a plumber. Imagine her working in social housing, working around man that's not quite right in their head. I've been around certain tenants and these men are not right in their head. Like, they, just, you know when you're just talking to them, you just know this character's off, innit? Imagine if you was a female, a sexy female. Imagine how they man it, yeah? And, and imagine, yeah, some, some, some women, yeah, might not dress that appropriate or whatever. They might wear clothes that are tight-fitting and accentuates their, their, their best assets and that. Some of them women might not ever leave that property, you know. When I was working at Homes of Harringay, they were talking, because we had like female plumbers and that, and female trades women. They were talking about getting the women rape alarms, yeah? This is not no fucking joke. Even the night shift staff, the men that were doing the emergency call-outs, one of the emergency call-out people, I don't know if he was a plumber or electrician, years ago before I was working at Homes Harringay, they started making everyone wear stab proof vests because one of them got stabbed. One of the trades people stabbed one of the, so, sorry, one of the tenants stabbed one of the trades people on an emergency night call up. This world is not safe for women and women need to fucking remember that, blood. You're not the same as us. When you go out on the street at midnight, you know, the way the world will perceive you, just the way a madman will perceive you, you you're basically food, you're basically prey. As a woman, you're prey. Man, then, why not prey? 
You know what I mean? There's some man that you get me get violated on road and that in it, yeah. But like one of you the same to a predator. A man will see an ex-man and not even care. But a man will see a woman. A man might look around to see who's about. Even my girl trying to talk about, yeah, before she tries to say, yeah, she's going to walk to the gym at five in the morning. Picked up. Are you dumb? I have to tell her, blood, you're not going out at them, them late times there where it's all dark. You stupid, blood. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is a mad video, isn't it? Yeah, basically, a man. Anyway. Let's get into it. That was 24-year-old Florida fitness trainer Nashali Alma fighting off an attacker inside her apartment complex gym, and she's here to tell the story. Joining us is Nashali Alma. Nashali, thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Just a crazy incident overall. How are you uh, feeling since this happened? Um, I mean, overall, I've been feeling good uh, mentally and physically. Um, as soon as, you know, this video kind of went out, I went pretty viral <laughs> and waking up to a lot of support and love, you know, that it's, it's amazing. Yeah, it is. And I'm sure, you know, the outcrying that you got, people have called you an inspiration, et cetera. It just has to make you feel great. Oh yeah. 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 I have, I've gotten millions of people from around the world just messaging me like, Hey, I'm from here, here. They're all calling me badasses and like inspiring. <laughs> them um to you know work out and to even just take classes to defend themselves and get stronger and that's actually like an amazing feeling yeah it's well deserved uh so before he attacked you were you alarmed that he was just standing there and not really using any machines or exercising at all so no not really um so after i let him in and everything um look at this guy just take classes to defend themselves and get stronger and that's actually like an amazing feeling. <laughs> yeah, it's well deserved. Uh, so before he had... look at that man just standing there waiting, you know, the man is just waiting, you know, waiting for an opportunity. The fuck is wrong with him, blood? Tacked you? Were you alarmed that he was just, just standing there, like he's at a bus stop? And the thing is, well, obviously the man saying like, oh, you know, women need to be careful alone. This is a situation. It's just unlucky because. All right, it's a public place, but it's not public at the moment. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like, they're kind of alone in there, innit? Yeah, but there's lights and cameras and that, and a man will stop. That's what I'm saying. Certain men are just not right in their head. And, you know, I'm glad that he weren't right in his head in this situation to try and attack her in this situation, because at least she had a fighting chance. At least, you know, there's cameras and that. And you understand what I'm trying to say? Imagine if this was um, in a dark alleyway or whatever. Or she was a female plumber going into a tenant's yard and that. It would have been curtains, blood. Curtains. The, the fucking... What's the... Not, not the audacity. Ah, there's a word. You know, like the blatantness. There's a, there's a better word than being blatant and that. But basically, the, the blatantness, if that's even a fucking word, of this man to try and do that in a gym where some random person could come in or whatever. Nuts. Man, just waiting. Just standing there and not really using any machines or exercising at all? So, no, not really. Um, so, after I let him in and everything, um, I was, in, like, in the zone working out. I didn't really pay much attention to The man is still there, you know? Just standing there. Like, the thing is, he doesn't even look like he's looking at her. It's almost like... Do you know what he looks like? He looks like he's looking at her. Obviously, you can't see what I'm putting at, but it looks like he's looking at her in the reflection of the window. So you see where she is, where she's got her back to, there's a window to her back. It's almost like he's observing her in the reflection of the window because he isn't directly looking at her or whatever, innit? But fucking madman. Until, you know, I finished my workout and I stood up. That's when I noticed he was just standing there, but I kind of just ignored it because I was like, okay, maybe he's just, you know, doing, not, I don't know what he was doing, but I just let it alone. He's in his thoughts. Like in the zone working out, 
I didn't really pay much attention to him until, you know, I finished my workout and I stood up. That's when I noticed he was just standing there. Look, he's standing there planning his attack. There was a war going on in his head. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Should I? You know what I'm saying, innit? Yeah, maybe this is not a... Yeah? But I kind of just ignored it because I was like, okay, maybe he's just, you know, doing... I don't know what he was doing, but I just let it alone. I didn't want it it to affect me or anything. So I just let it be, and I went back on my phone to put a self-timer on, and next thing you know, he just came right after me. Oh, so when he was coming at you, it looked like you guys exchanged a few words. What did you say to him? So um, when he approached me, um, he didn't say anything at all. Uh, he didn't say a single word until we got to the other side of the gym. Me, on the other hand, um, when he approached me and when I pushed him, I said, bro, what, what the F are you doing? Get the F away from me. And I just kept pushing him and pushing him. And then that's when he started chasing me and we ended up on the other side of the gym. What did he say to you on the other side of the gym? So when we got to the other side, um, I was trying to grab my phone to call 911, and that's when he said, don't do that, don't call nobody. And I was like, what? And that's when, you know, he grabbed me. Wow. So I I know you're a bodybuilder, but do you have self-defense background too? I have zero self-defense background. Um, Everything that I did in the video or during the situation was kind of just first instinct. (laughs) Come on, bust him up. Self-defense background, because I thought you bust him up. (laughs) Well, yeah. So after I I started punching him in the head, you know, with my phone and my hand, um, he kind of threw me on the ground. But I was able to kind of put him a little choke real quick, and then try to call nine one one. But he kept trying to grab my phone, so I just ended up stopping uh, trying to call nine one one and just kept fighting him. So this is an apartment complex gym. Uh, I'm assuming you need a key fob to get in. Had you ever seen this person in the gym before? Um, just once, um, but we never really had any encounter or, you know, nothing at all out of the- Dirty ass! I hope when they catch him in jail, they chop him! Dip him up, blood! Fam, there's certain crimes against women that you don't do. I'm not condoning anyone rob a girl of her phone, yeah? Don't get it twisted. I'm not condoning anyone rob a girl of her phone. But if he just- Robbed her for her phone. Certain niggas is hungry. Certain niggas got to eat, innit? But there's certain crimes against women. We don't trouble women in them ways there. Yeah? I'm not condoning anyone tea for girl's phone or whatever, innit? Yeah? But there's certain crimes. No, fam. You don't trouble women in that way. Chop him. Like this situation. Um, but other than that, out of that encounter, nothing. So he had been in the gym before, then like, what's your reaction to people saying, you know, you shouldn't have let the strange guy in the gym? Um, well, I mean, like I said, people forget their key fobs, you know, and you may or may not have seen them before or not. I'm one of those people who forget their key fobs and, you know, just like any other person would, would, they will let them in. And so that's why I let him in. Um, not because I saw him before or anything overall, I, I would let anybody in because I would want the same thing. Going forward, a uh, similar situation, you're in the gym working out, someone forgets their key fob, would you let them in the gym again? Well, now, no. <laughs> uh, I would be more cautious, obviously. Um, I would make sure someone's there with me before I would buzz them in. Um, but if I'm by myself, obviously no. <laughs> hey, well, you can certainly handle yourself. Uh, so what happened after you ran out the door and it looked like he followed you? Mm-hmm. Well, after I ran out, um, I actually called 911, um, and I'll, as I was calling 911, I turned around, and he actually like, vanished. I didn't see where he went. He just went out into the darkness, and I ran by to some neighbors. I knocked on some of the doors, and le- luckily, a couple opened the door and let me in. Wow. So then police got there and then questioned you, and then they were able to get him the next day? Yeah, it was crazy how, yeah, so the police got there within like two minutes after me calling, and there was like seven patrol cars just they all popped up I was like oh my goodness and they all followed me back to my apartment just started talking to me for a couple hours making sure I was okay and the very next day I guess um, this man he attempted to uh, break into another residence and um, was not successful he ran off and luckily the police were already here trying to get footage of my incident and I told them like hey he's here he's here and luckily they caught him
guy is a serial offender, you know. Obviously, like, I sent my girl a little post today before I saw this video, because I didn't I watch, like, two, three minutes of it, and I thought, yeah, you know what, yeah, this is a serious video that man need to, you get me? Because I know they've got a couple of girls over here that watch me, innit? But anyway, I, I saw one post on um, Facebook. So basically, like, I kind of subscribe to the London Evening Standard, the Sun newspaper and that on Facebook. So I get little notifications and that when there's some kind of story. It could be about anything. It could be about a 22-year-old boy or 22-year-old young man buying free properties and that, whatever, innit? So anyway, there was one where this guy, he, um, he was convicted of trying to sexually assault some woman and he sliced her throat using a key. He came out of jail. He found where the woman lived and he broke into the woman's house and he violated her all because she got a boyfriend and that. Just a fucking madman, blood. Um, but yeah, serial offender. Man like this, successful or not, he would have went on to do it again. And we can't have people like that walking the streets. You get me? We got, we got to keep the streets safe for our women sisters mums and girlfriends and shit like that man that's great that's great and in such short amount of time too uh did you ever learn what his motive was um yes i did um he also admitted in his interview with the cops that he did want to rape me oh my gosh wow that is so scary uh i don't know if uh that's public information or not but um it just goes to say what a job you did fending him off <laughs> thank you yeah so I already saw on your Instagram that you were back in the gym, which is great to see. Uh, I know it's your career, but it did it take you a while to get back in the gym after this happened? Um, no, after shortly after about two days, um, I I've been back in the gym ever since. Um, it hasn't stopped me one. <laughs> see, that's that's the bodybuilder instinct in her boy. Like, yeah, back on the job, yeah, straight two days. Some you know you know say the average woman. I mean, they probably wouldn't have gone back to that gym, let alone a gym or whatever. It would have took them a very very long time. Back on the job. That's that that's I respect that. I respect that still. Uh, I'm, these type of situations, you should never let it stop you from doing what you love and enjoying life. And I made sure of that. What, what? she moving like man? Then that's the, that's how man they will move, boy. Obviously, hope. Well, anyway. What was your mindset while this was happening? Um, so during the whole thing, you know, whenever it happened, um, I wasn't really fearful at all. Um, it was more just of me having that fighter mode, you know, that to never give up, to never stop, to keep fighting. You know, I. It was just me pushing to make sure that I beat his ass, that I get out of the situation, that I get out. And I survived. And were your friends and family like asking what was going on through your head while this was happening? Yeah, yeah, they were all because they watched the video and they had asked me, you know, you look so calm, you look like you were okay. And I was like, I, I mean, I was, I wasn't really scared. I was just, you know, making sure that um, I got out of there. And it was more just me like having that, like I said, fight or flight response, that fighter mode where I'm tough, I'm bigger than you, we're the same size, you're not stronger than me, I'm going to make sure I get out of this. Great, good for you. Uh, so law enforcement's labeling you an inspiration for the way you handled yourself. Like, what's your message for other women who uh, may go through something similar to this? Yeah, like I always said, you know, don't stop, don't ever stop, don't ever give up, keep fighting, because the more stronger you push out, the more you fight back, the more they're going to stop and like, damn, this girl's a fighter, we, I don't want her. And the more you just keep fighting, the more they, they see that you are scary, that they're like, oh, God, I don't want this. Like, that's all. Like, don't ever give up. Don't stop. Inspiration. I think it's an accurate word that law enforcement used to describe yeah. you. Uh, Nashala Alma, I really appreciate you coming on. Great to meet you. And uh, I'm Thank glad you. you're doing so well. Thank you. Yeah, man, it's good to see women with that fighter spirit in that, man. You know, some women will just freeze up or... You know what I'm saying, isn't it? Like, not know how to defend themselves. Or when I say not know how to defend themselves, it's not about, oh, knowing what. But what I'm saying is they just wouldn't even defend themselves. The worst thing you could so like, I've seen situations in that where people have been approached by people and, and they don't do nothing. And certain people might think, oh, you know, they didn't run because they was brave and that. No, it's not that they didn't run. They froze up. Let me tell you something right now, yeah? The worst response you could ever have to a flight or fight situation 
is no response, inaction. I respect a man more that will run away in a situation rather than a man freeze up. Because that means your flight or fight response doesn't even work. Your whole body shuts down. That is dangerous. You become a fucking a wax model. Just man just standing there. Man, man are so scared that man, man don't even have the, you get me, to run away. A man just frees up. So, she, yeah, that was good, man. Some women wouldn't even know what to do. Yeah, they'll just freeze up and then fall victim and that. Nah, keep it moving. Keep it moving, keep it fire, man. But yeah, man. So I thought, let me just react to this video today in it because women, I don't like when they feel like, ah, oh, you know, they're on the same level as men and shit. Nah, fam. Nah, fam. You're more vulnerable and that. You have to always remember that. But that's just nuts that that could happen in a public place like that. It's nuts. Anyway, man. Respect for watching the video. Stay wise. Done, man.